Hi, I'm Sabrina Zeif. Um, I'm here at the gorgeous Simply Good Food TV studios in beautiful Cumbria. And I'm going to cook up a little lunch for Peter and Emily. Um, I'm really, really passionate about herbs and spices. That, that's really my thing. And so I'm going to show you how to make some, well, we call them Chinese wontons in Trinidad, or you can call them prawn parcels or whatever. Really simple, really quick, and it's wonderful to make for the family. And well, all you need are a few things. You need some wonton skins, which you probably have to get at a Chinese supermarket or an international shop. Okay. And um, I'm using ground pork today because that's what I happen to have in my refrigerator. And you need an egg. Right. And it's, it's that simple. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Caribbean herb rub, which is my own concoction. And it's a blend of coriander, parsley, spring onion, thyme, oregano, um, no oregano, spring onions. And what's lovely about this is you can make this in advance and keep it into your refrigerator. So, lots of lovely herbs in. Now, I grew up with this with mummy making it with prawns, and I love it with prawns. But it just so happened that I had uh, ground pork in my refrigerator, and nothing wrong in using that. Now, you can then go into here and put some salt and pepper, but I'm actually going to spice it up a little bit more with a Cajun seasoning blend. Now this has in it paprika, oregano salt, black pepper, cayenne pepper, and it's, it's just to give it a little bit more of a kick. And it's as simple, it's as simple as this. You mix it up now, you can do it with your hands as well. Um, but today I'm not going to, if I was at home, probably would. Okay, so nicely mixed. Now if you want, I think, I think this could probably do with a little bit more herb seasoning, so I'm gonna add it. If you were using prawns and you just wanted to keep it really oriental, then you could just put in um, fresh garlic and ginger. But today, because I'm using pork, I, I want to use something a little bit more uh, punchy. Right, so we're ready. It's as simple as this. Eggs. You need your wonton wrappers. You need a little pastry brush. And, I'm going to move this out of the way. Right. Now, I thought I would add a bit of veggies to this. So here I've got some fresh ginger chopped up, some garlic, and for a bit of crunch, some carrots. And no, no particular reason why I'm using carrots and a bit of coriander. It just happened that I happened to have it. Now, it's really lovely if you added water chestnuts to this for a real crunch, but again, I wanted to try something slightly different. Now you can make this with, with just vegetables, really, um, and maybe uh, a bit of potatoes to pull it in a bit, but, so there we go. Now, you can make these into meatballs if you want it, but I'm not going to, right, so, wonton skins. You can sort of set up a production line with the skins. Now the skins are really, really thin. And one thing you want to do is to not have them open for too long. They will dry out. You almost always have to use the entire packet. And they actually come round as well. Now this is really fun for kids. Um, I grew up making these. So the egg wash, I'm just, I'm just using pure egg, is really the glue. It's what keeps, uh, it's what binds the wrappers together. And you don't want to use the egg wash all over because it's just going to stick. There are a couple of different ways of wrapping this. And here's the first one. So a little bit, actually it's quite easy, better if you use spoons. So here we go. A little bit. You don't want to put too much because if you put too much stuff in, in it, it just pops. Because the wrappers are really tiny. And yes, you can eat loads of these. That's the whole idea. So. One of the methods of doing these, and it's so fun, is corner to corner. You pinch one corner to the other, and you do it again, one corner to the other, to make a little parcel. That's one way. The other way could just be you hold it under your hands like this, and just pinch. It comes out almost the same. The idea is when you fry them, they just 
it just bunches out like a nice little butterfly. So we'll just have to make sure our oil is nice and hot. And then, so can you imagine the kids just having a really fun time? And you can, you know, it's, it, you can make this so healthy um, by going all vegetarian or prawns are actually my absolute favorite. You know, growing up in Trinidad, um, we, we grew up with Chinese food as one of the cuisines. Um, in the Caribbean where I'm from, and gosh, we have African, Chinese, Portuguese, Indian, Syrian, Lebanese, and it wasn't unusual to have China, uh, wontons, gosh, every week. Um, I have to admit, when we didn't feel well, Daddy always went out and got us wonton soup. I still crave it now when I'm not feeling so good. So I'm just waiting, the oil is almost ready. I'm gonna keep wrapping. And apart from frying these like that we're gonna do, you know you can make wonton soup with this. So all you'd have to do to make wonton soup is to have really good stock, ready? Then you would put these wontons like this into a pot of boiling water. You'd boil them for about I don't know about a minute and then you take him out of that um, water strain it and then add it into your stock with uh, a chicken stock uh, works or vegetarian stock if you just want a vegetarian with some pak choy or bok choy and it's ready you got wonton soup it's that simple so we're waiting but i don't think it's quite ready almost Of course, if you if you if you had a pan and you deep fry it, it works re really quickly. They just turn brown right away. But because we want you to see it, we're just going to set them like little parcels in here. And I'm just going to turn up the oil just a slight smidgen. You know, this is a fabulous little uh, canopy to make for a party, for friends. Hey, get the friends to come and do it. You know. Um, and it, it, it's just a lovely thing to learn, and it's it's so easy. Now, I'm cooking this a little bit lower than usual because the pork is not cooked. Another tip would be to cook the pork, stir fry the pork, and have it already done. Then, then it cooks much quicker. But because we're using raw pork, the oil needs to be a little bit lower so we want to make sure it cooks. But the trick would probably be um, with pork, cook it, uh, stir fry it before. With prawns, you don't have to because they cook so quickly. All right? So there we go. Look at that gorgeous color. As soon as it turns a little golden brown, we're going to turn it over. Hopefully it won't spit too much at you. But it will spit a bit because some of the liquid from the pork or whatever you're using will seep out. So you just gotta be really careful there, you don't burn yourself. And if you're using a deeper pan at home, then the, the wontons will just sit in it and they just kind of pop off. So, while these are frying, um, if you're going to Car Fest this weekend or you're not Car Fest South, you can see me there on Saturday. Um, and also, if you haven't downloaded Simply Good Food TV app, what are you waiting on? It's it's the next best thing. Um, well, it's Netflix, really. It's the foodie, foodie Netflix. Look at that lovely color that's developing. And, and there we have it. Really, it's almost done. You don't want to get these dark because um, then they become burnt. So I'm going to start taking them out and putting them on a tray. Table. You could put this on a serviette or a napkin so you can just soak up the oil before you actually serve it. Um, when I've done supper clubs, I've served these in these lovely little um, bamboo boats with a little salad on the side of uh, lettuce and um, carrots. And it's just perfect. 
Now these can be eaten on their own or with a nice little soya sauce, which we're just gonna concoct really quickly. So if you wanna see this again, or you want the recipe, you can see it on Simply Good Food TV, but you gotta download the app. So, there we go. Just a quick little And Peter's very hungry. Yeah. Starving. And if you wanted to whip up a really quick sauce, you can by doing a bit of soy sauce. Now we grew up with ketchup and mustard and soy sauce eating this. Um, it just depends on your taste. So here I go, a little soy sauce. Oh, another thing that's really lovely with this is... Ketchup. <laughs> um, mustard, if you want. Yeah, only if you want, Peter. Um, Another lovely thing with this is Thai sweet chili sauce. You can cheat and just use your ready-made Thai sweet chili sauce and you have it, it almost ready. So there we go. It's ready to go. You just dip and eat. Go, because I'm starving. I forgot. A bit of ginger, a bit of garlic. Sorry, Peter. It's all right. How about some Scotch bonnet peppers in there? No. I think you'll die, so I'm not going to do Don't it. Don't do that to me. So maybe we should. So tell me what's in here. So I just put. You might have put too much because it's soy sauce. Soy sauce, um, sesame oil, ginger, garlic. That's it. Put it in his mouth. That's yum. <laughs> Delish. I like was, it. I was worried there for a minute. Right. Okay. Brilliant recipe. Sabrina, Sabrina's here today in the Simply Good Food TV kitchen. I'll crouch down because I've brought it framed up here. Uh, this is what the world looks like when you're Sabrina. Um, Sabrina noticed. is here at the Simply Good Food TV kitchens, having a go, doing some training, learning how to live stream and cook. She's going to be doing a ton more recipes. Um, keep tuned in. She's got her own camera now, so you're going to get a portal into her kitchen and her world. And you'll be able to see how she cooks with amazing spices, herbs. I can't wait to see what she's going to be doing. And she's going to produce them in her own kitchen. They're going to be on Facebook. And then we will promote them on Simply Good Food TV. So stay tuned. Download the app if you haven't already got it. And let us know what you think of her recipes. Because I think they're fab. Alright. Emily's just sat there in her own little world.